YouTube beauties and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now. It is my daytime kind of go-to look in the summer. It's a little bit more luminous than what I would normally wear, but it's still kind of bold with a dark pink matte lip while keeping the eyes kind of simple. This look really is pretty easy to achieve. It's just taking a couple extra steps to make sure that your makeup lasts throughout the day. So let's just jump into the video. First, I'm gonna start off with the Pore Professional from Benefit just to have in the center of my face because that is where I get oily. While we're letting that sink into the skin, I'm gonna take the Becca Backlight Priming Filter and put that every other place on my face just to enhance that luminosity a little bit so you can see that makes my skin a little bit more luminous just on the outsides of my face I'm going to take the Milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer and this is in creamy vanilla so I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender and just start working that into the skin you don't need very much of this because it is so thick and it goes a long way. What this is going to do with the Beauty Blender is it's going to soak up the excess amount of foundation that would otherwise make me look really cakey. So if you use a heavier foundation, I would recommend using a Beauty Blender. Even though this is more of a mattifying foundation, it does look more luminous because of the primer that we put on before that. I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Natural. I've been growing to really, really like this concealer. Buff that in again with a damp beauty blender. This is just gonna avoid your concealer caking up on you. So before that concealer really has a chance to crease or anything on us, I'm gonna take some of the e.l.f. under eye setting powder, the HD one, and I'm gonna set it with a brush. This under eye setting powder is really, really good. So before we set our foundation, I'm just going to put a little bit of this Lightning Crew Highlight Cream by The Beauty Crop. Since this is a glowy tutorial, I'm just going to take a little on my finger and start to work this in to the high points of my cheeks because if you put a cream highlight down first underneath your powder highlight, it's just going to last a lot longer. I'll use a beauty blender. See, we already have a natural highlight kind of at the chop of our cheekbones before we have even done any powder or anything. I'm gonna set everything with the Bye Bye Pores, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Finishing Powder. It sets your foundation, but it doesn't take away from the luminosity and the glow. Now that our foundation and that cream highlight are, is set, I'm gonna go in with some bronzer, and I picked a bronzer that's pretty luminous. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 20M, and the whole point behind this bronzer is it's really good for beginners. It takes a while to build this up, so it's really customizable for how much pigment you wanna have on your face, and it does have more of a glowy, natural finish rather than a super matte finish but i think it looks really pretty on the skin regardless of if you're a beginner or not oh ignore these i got bit by spiders but if you see them that's what it's from i'm gonna take the rockateur blush from benefit just because this is more of a glowy bra more because this is a glowy blush and it's not going to take away from the luminosity this is an e4 by morphe Lastly, we are going to take the Laura Mercier Highlight in 01 and top that liquid highlight we did. I really like the color of this highlight. Then I'm going to go back in with my powder brush and just blend everything together. I'm going to do some on my nose, my cupid's bow. So do you see how it looks more like a highlight from within? I am going to do my brows real quick and I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Soft Brown. And I'm going to set that with the Benefit Gimme Brow. 
All right, we are going to do the eyes now. I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This allows my eyeshadow to wear for a really long time. And let's set that with the pores no more. Today we're gonna use the Milani Everyday Eyes Palette. This is the must-have neutrals. I'm gonna take this neutral shade right here and just start buffing it into my crease. I'm going in with a little Anastasia Beverly Hills this Duo Sided eye brush and this is just a little bit more of a condensed fluffier brush and I'm gonna take this darker shade right here and put that in the outer V of my eye very light hand when doing this and lastly we're gonna go in with this shimmery pink shade right here just on the lid And that's all we are going to do for our lids. We're gonna take this darker shade once again and smudge that under our lower lash line. This is the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush. And how I like to do it is I angle my brush up like this, not like this. If you do it like this, it's gonna look smudgy. It allows for you just to get a more precise application so see how that just added a little bit of definition underneath my eyes then we're gonna take this little pencil brush and just smudge it out for this look we are not going to do any eyeliner it will take away from the daytime look a little bit so I'm just gonna put on some mascara really quick now that I have mascara on my top and lower lashes I'm just gonna take that Laura Mercier highlight again in zero one and put that in the corners of my eyes just to bring some light back into the look I added this to the tops of my brow bone as well now we are going to focus on our lips I'm going to be using this amore matte lip cream from Milani and this is in the shade loved this smells so good So we're just gonna let this dry. We're just gonna set that with some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray. So this is the kind of look that I would rock during the daytime, in the summer, just something that's a little bit more dewy and glowy. Again, it keeps me matte in my T-zone and not super, super crazy on the eye. So I, got, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it for you guys. I love to show, you know, how I wear my makeup in the summer during the day. If you guys liked this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see my upcoming videos. I post generally once a week, but during the summer I may bump it up to twice a week. We will see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your support and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!